I love my time at Coleraine, Michael. It, it was really good. It was probably the best spell I've ever had. You know, playing football, I, I really, really enjoyed it, and it was the start of me being in Northern Ireland for about six, seven years, uh, and obviously went on from Coleraine to Glentoran, which I, I loved as well. But while I was at Coleraine, there was a few lows. I think one of the biggest lows was when, when Colin O'Neill resigned. Uh, we knew nothing about what was going to happen. We played on the Saturday, and then we woke up to the papers. Uh, criticising Colin for whatever and Colin decided uh, upon himself to resign on the Sunday which left us in a bit of turmoil we're four games into the new era the place was buzzing I think the, the, the town liked what they were seeing uh, they were quite happy with you know what was happening with Colin and then all of a sudden bang he's away and the, the only good thing to come out of that is with the pleasure of uh, having Harry Gregg and Victor Hunter as were managers for a few weeks uh, I stayed in Harry's bed and breakfast a few times and had, had some really good chats with him and a, a guy I admire and obviously Victor Hunter is, is somebody that was there all the time and I really admired you know what, what Victor done and stepping in. Billy Sinclair came in and things got off to a reasonable start and Billy was an, obviously a, another Scottish guy uh, but I think one of the other lows in my career, my time at Coleraine was and probably the biggest one and one of my biggest regrets was when we were playing Glen Torren one day and we were free nothing done at half time and we came in at, into the dressing room we were all sick uh, but Billy proceeds to blame me for everything I, I wasn't working, I wasn't holding the ball up, I wasn't doing this and I took offence to that obviously being a, a fiery Scot and I had a cup of tea in my hand and I launched this cup of tea through the middle of Eric Boyer and, and Sinky Luckily I missed and it went and smashed against the, the back of the shower. Uh, glass everywhere. It's not my proudest moment. And I think it was Eric Boyer turned to me and, and said if you showed that much aggression out in the park we wouldn't be in this position. And he's probably right. Uh, I don't think any has had a good game that that day. Uh, but took me off at half time and that was me for about six or seven weeks. Frozen out, sitting in Scotland. Not a happy chappy. And I think it took the, the directors to get involved in, in Sinky eventually uh, accepting my apology because at the end of the day it was my fault, it was nothing to do with, with him. I should never have done it. And he accepted my apology and, and I come back in and started to play again and, and enjoy it. And then Sinky left at the end of the season and we got Felix Healy come in. Uh, Felix was probably one of the, the best managers I've played under. One of the one of the smoothest. Uh, he had a, a way of phrases and 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 words, and it was a real pleasure to play under him. And uh, for whatever whatever reason, it only lasted a year. It was a shame because I, I think we could have been on to good things uh, if Felix had stayed. No, not not to say that Kenny coming in, Kenny Shields done phenomenally well with Coleraine, uh, but I, I was in Kenny's cup of tea and. I think I only lasted a couple of games and I was off to Glen Torn. But I've got to say, through my time at Coleraine, I think it's some of the, the best times that I've, I've been involved in football and it's it's a place that I'll always hold in my heart. I'll, I'll always look out for the results and anything that Coleraine ever needs, I'll, I'll be there.